The UNESCO-designated Fundy Biosphere Reserve has been shaped by giant tides, making it one of the world's most unique places. This series explores some of its amazing hiking destinations. Located in New Brunswick along the Bay of Fundy coastline, the abundance of trails in this seaside landscape provides access to a wealth of amazing places. As the core area of the reserve, Fundy National Park is a hiker's paradise. This is Caribou Plain, located high up on the Caledonia Plateau in Fundy National Park. This soggy landscape has always played a crucial role in regulating water levels for the entire watershed below. Here, the naturally formed bogs have been complemented by rodent-made marshes. This rodent had to defend itself from lynx, coyotes, and bears, and its solution was absolutely ingenious. The North American beaver protects its family by building a moat. A beaver dam creates a pond that encircles the lodge and isolates it from the surrounding forest. Beavers may be outmatched by their predators on land, but in the water, they are exceptionally agile. Their large security moat also doubles as a pantry. Beavers collect branches in the growing season and store them at the bottom of the pond. This prevents their food, tree bark, from freezing and allows them to store enough branches and sticks to get through the winter. Despite the beaver's great accomplishments, the landscape can change over time and they are no longer found in this pond. The slow moving water of the pond allowed sediments to accumulate. Eventually, it filled with silt, leaves, and deadwood, and the beavers moved off to a new location. Wetland plants colonized the shallow water, slowly transforming it into a marsh. Post-beaver wetlands are a spongy landscape that help mitigate both floods and droughts. During torrential rains, water is absorbed, and during droughts, it slowly seeps into streams. These wetlands are a critical part of the ecosystem and bring stability and consistency to the entire water supply. During the spring, many species of ephemeral flowering plants, such as red trilliums and trout lilies, line the trail. These flowers are called ephemeral because they emerge, bloom, and go to seed before the canopy fills in with leaves. Sphagnum mosses dominate this mushy open area, and much like the beaver's marsh, they help manage the water supply. Since sphagnum mosses can absorb 20 times their weight in water, it allows the bog to soak up rain and slowly release it later. A new layer of moss, about a centimeter thick, grows here every year. The layers accumulate and compress to form peat. One layer of sphagnum is eventually compacted to a millimeter. Caribou Plain Bog is over three meters thick which means it's been growing here for over 3,000 years. Bogs are highly acidic, low nutrient environments that only specialists can tolerate. These dwarf tamaracks, for example, can root in the peat, but since these are far from ideal conditions, they grow slowly. Some of these scruffy trees are 40 years old. Pitcher plants and sundews evolved a more creative approach. They supplement their diet by trapping insects. The purple pitcher plant drowns its victims in a pot of insect digesting serum, and the sundew entangles bugs in its sticky tentacles. From the top of the watershed, the beavers, marshes, and ponds, along with the spongy bog, govern the vital flow of water downstream, ranging from strange to elegant to genius. This group of unassuming species is able to manage the Earth's most precious resource. A lesson in sustainability is here to share at Caribou Plain, a life-giving, amazing place. <laughs>